Hi gardeners. So today I want to talk about the expense of a garden. How expensive is it? Are you doing it as a hobby or to seriously raise food? Let's get into it. Okay, so I did some research. So I'm going to start with the most expensive. And I did some research on metal beds, and they vary in cost. I kind of stuck to the lower end of them. And um, Home Depot are lows, but this is what I found. So an 8x4 metal raised bed from like Home Depot or Lowe's costs $90. It's a foot and a half deep, so it takes about 48 cubic feet of soil, or about 32 bags. So let's say you buy the cheapest soil they have at $5 each. Again, the, the price of soil varied. Top soil costs less than $5. I just went with $5. So that's gonna cost you $160. So now you're at $250 before seeds, fertilizer, mulch, any of that. The next on the list as far as expense goes is landscape timbers. I have a few landscape timber beds. So an eight by four, sticking with the same size, landscape timber bed, two timbers deep, so that's like six inches. You're gonna need eight timbers to make an eight by four bed at $5 each, because that's generally how much it costs, less than $5. So that's gonna cost you $40. Plus, that's about 16 cubic feet of soil or 11 bags. Again, stick with the $5 a bag, that's about $55. So you're into it for $95. Now, let's say you just are gonna plant in ground, the cheapest way to go. An eight by four plot in the ground is still gonna need some soil, one or two inches on the top to work in, depending on your soil, obviously, but most people's soil, you still gonna need soil, top soil. But that's only two bags, so that's $10. Plus, like I said, mulch, fertilizers, seeds, all that good stuff. So, the most expensive is metal raised beds. And that's the most expensive part of gardening is the soil. Yes, it helps if you make your own compost, which I am. And a foot and a half bed it will mitigate some of the cost if you kind of put branches and other organic material at the bottom. Of course, as that stuff breaks down, you're going to have to add more soil every year. But it'll, it'll, oh, and there's sirens. I'm going to cut this out. Oh, I think they're fading. Okay, so if you feel, let's say, the bottom two thirds, maybe even more, you can um, fill in a lot of that space with something other than soil and something that will eventually turn into soil. You might be able to not, because when you put the soil in, it's going to fall through. So you might be able to not knock $40, $50 off of that. So metal raised beds can cost you between 200 and 250 dollars again before fertilizer seeds mulch all that other stuff landscape timber beds they're only six inches deep it could be taller if you add more timbers but then the cost goes up for the soil um you can't really fill those a lot with uh, branches just because they're not very deep to begin with. So what I say, $90, $95. And the cheapest way, of course, is to go in ground for $10. You're gonna need a little topsoil on top. You're gonna need to till it. I don't know if you have a tiller. So it's gonna be more labor intensive. Um, which is why I have raised beds, which is why a lot of people do raised beds, just because labor is so much less. But it's the cheapest way to go. And of course, all this depends how many beds you have. I have seven and a half. I also have stuff in the ground. I have my corn in the ground. I have my pumpkins and watermelons in the ground. So I have a mix of both. 
Um, and if you're doing this as a hobby, do you care how much you spend? If you're doing this for food, you're trying to cut down the cost of food, you probably do care how much you spend. Um, do you have to buy a tiller? Can you borrow a tiller from somebody? Can you till it by hand? I cannot. So I don't know how much I've spent on my garden. I wish now I had started keeping track of the expenses because there are other things besides the soil um, and the timbers. There's the fertilizer and the mulch and the seeds and the wood. I use wood to build a fence. I would use scrap wood to build some beds. But there's screws for that. There's the um, the plastic for my greenhouse. I don't know how much I've spent. Um, I, I wish I kept track. It's gonna get less expensive as the years go on. Um, because you're gonna have to buy less and less stuff once your garden's ex established. But, does it matter? It, it doesn't for me. My garden brings me a lot more than food. It brings me joy. It really does. Being in the garden, even doing the hard work, the pruning the zucchinis and the weeding and the the, the daily chores, the task, the watering, it, even those things bring me joy. So, how much is the garden worth to you? You know? But that's all I really want to talk about because I know some people are cost conscious. I am as well. That's why I use scrap wood. That's why my son brought me soil a dump truck of soil for my birthday as a gift. You know, I am conscious of costs and I'm trying to do it as cheap as I can. But would I spend the money over again? Absolutely I would. I didn't even hesitate. So I will catch y'all next one. See ya.